Hey guys, so for today's video, I am here to review The Hundred by Cass Morgan. So The Hundred is sort of like this post-apocalyptic space adventure type thing. It takes place in the future, and in this particular future, the Earth has been destroyed by nuclear warfare. When this said nuclear warfare broke out, a bunch of people were able to escape to a space station. And they have been living on the space station for the past 300 years, creating a whole society and procreating and doing all that kind of stuff. Well, after living on the space station for about 300 years, with no means of really replenishing your resources, things are starting to go downhill. So, one day, the powers that be decide that it is time to send 100 people down to Earth to see if the planet is once again inhabitable. The 100 people chosen for this mission all happen to be 100 teenagers who have been convicted of a crime and therefore are expendable. So the book focuses on four main characters. These four characters are all members of the 100. Throughout the book, we learn about them, about their relationships. We learn what they were convicted of, like to cause them to go to prison and stuff. But that's pretty much it. This book is very much, I guess, a character-based book and you don't really get a sense of what this post-apocalyptic Earth is like. You don't really get to know the space station that they're living on and like the politics involved, you know, of living on a space station. None of the characters in this book really spoke to me. I did not have that emotional connection with anybody. The writing in this book was okay, but it wasn't all that great. Now, the reason I ended up picking this book up is because I have recently watched the first season of The 100, the TV show, which was amazing. It was such a good show. I didn't have the greatest expectations for this particular show because it is a show on the CW and CW shows can sometimes be a little bit cheesy, I guess. But because I was pleasantly surprised by it, I did want to read the book and unfortunately the book just does not live up to the TV show. I feel like the TV show is able to do what the book wasn't able to do, where you explore the politics and the environment and the relationships. And so much more has been done with the TV show that just makes it a much more well-rounded uh, work. Now back to the book. The book doesn't really have like a climax. It does have an interesting part towards the end that kind of leaves you hanging and you kind of want to read on. But I have a feeling that if I do decide to read the second book, I will be disappointed and I won't feel fulfilled, you know, in a in a series, in a book. Also, I feel like this book was written purposefully to be a trilogy, which kind of annoys me. I haven't decided whether or not I'm going to read the next book in the series just because the first book was so disappointing and it didn't really catch my interest. If you guys have read The 100 or if you guys have watched the TV show, let me know what you guys thought of it in the comments down below. Did you guys like it? Did you guys hate it? Which do you guys prefer? Anyways, that is all for today's video. Thanks so much for watching and I will see you guys next time. Bye!